talented fighter making the walk here tonight. I will be surprised, Joe, if we see him put on his back at any point tonight. Incredible takedown defense, great balance, very solid base, an outstanding sprawl that's very quick and athletic. And for a lot of fighters, they waste a lot of energy trying to bring this man down. Got to think the smart approach will be to see if you can get the shot early, but if it doesn't materialize, go to plan B. This guy's takedown defense north of 90%. Some of the best takedown artists in the world have failed to take him down. This guy's one of the toughest guys we've ever seen compete in the octagon. His ability to overcome adversity, to absorb punishment, and then come back to deliver his own is a really amazing thing to watch. All right, so an interesting stylistic clash in front of this young fighter here tonight. You gotta think he's trying to figure out how best to get this fight to the ground and use his ability to pass. This guy cuts the guard with the best of them. Great technique, but also a plus athlete. And he's not afraid to lean on that athleticism and do some unorthodox things to better position himself on the ground. This guy has outstanding takedown defense. His sprawl, his timing, and his ability to get up are amongst the best in the world. for this. Some differences in height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He's at 6 feet tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, El Tigre. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Kanagawa, Japan, Grandmaster. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, our third man in the octagon. All right, so this UFC Grand Prix tournament is coming up next. This format has been all the rage with a lot of the hardcore mixed martial arts fans out there. Sort of an homage to the history of UFC and Pride with a single night tournament game event here. And let's see who can be the last man standing here tonight. Let's see if he can pass that half guard. Moves into full mount. Awesome control from the top. Very nice sweep, winds up in his guard. He's putting his hands down on the thighs. He's looking, lands a big shot from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. He's gonna try to take the back, I think. Just over three minutes now to go. He's got the clinch. He pummels, now he's got double underhooks in the clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Joe doing a nice job here, staying busy from the bottom. Up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Oh, he pummels under. Now he's got the underhook. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Joe, so really doing a nice job scoring points, and the takedowns are piling up, and he's not telegraphing his shot, and that's why he's... Kimura attempt here. From there, he's gonna rotate his body, put his leg across the back, and then put his other leg on the back of the neck. And, and there it is! Just the mission, and there was nowhere to go. 
Yeah, Joe, we know you can appreciate that. High-level jujitsu there, executes the submission there, and a nice job, too, in transition to make sure that he was patient enough to set it up effectively, and the end of the fight came shortly thereafter. High-level stuff. And here it is again, absolutely perfectly executed. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. The official decision Ladies is in. Here's Bruce Buffett. Mario Yamasaki is called to stop to this contest at four minutes, five seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. Well, the celebration is on in the corner after the big submission win here tonight. He told us during fight week that he needed to prioritize a finish here. Decisions were not going to be enough.